In an interview with Yahoo Sports, Kobe Bryant says he is unsure about his future despite Lakers GM Mitch Kupchak saying that Bryant has indicated this year will be his last year. We haven't said anything in stone and I've talked about it before. But could this be the last season? Absolutely. It's tough to decide. It's really tough to make those types of decisions. Players I've spoken to say, Kobe, you'll know. I'm making this very simple. Either I like playing the game and going through the process, or I don't. I try to strip it down to the simplest form. Either I like playing some more, or I don't. But I think that decision needs to be made after the season. It's hard to make a decision like that before the season. Let's put the Lakers on the hook, Stephen A. How do you think the uh, Lakers are feeling after hearing this from Mr. Bryant? I don't think they're happy about it, mm -hmm. to be quite honest with you. Um, I know that sounds sacrilegious, if not flat out stupid, because we're talking about a five-time champion, one of the greatest top ten players of all time as far as I'm concerned, um, a guy that's a former league MVP, an assassin of the highest order. We know what Kobe Bryant is as a basketball player, what he's brought to the table throughout his illustrious career. But the last two years, he has not been healthy, obviously. And because his health has been such a huge, huge question mark, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers have had no choice but to look into a future that doesn't have him included as a part of it. Um, <clears throat> if Kobe, because he's been out the last two years, if Kobe had been healthy the last two years, I believe Kobe Bryant, this would definitively be his last year. But the fact that he hasn't been healthy and he hasn't been playing, if he comes back this year and maintains health and plays at a high level, I can see him wanting to continue to play. The problem with it is that the Los Angeles Lakers probably are looking forward to life without him. Whether they're willing, they willing to admit it or not, privately you've got a couple of folks within that organization that hold it against Kobe as, to, as it pertains to their inability to recruit top-notch free agents to come to Los Angeles. And you've got folks in the media that have boarded hell hook, line, and sinker. And that's not to say Kobe's is flawless in this entire process. It's not to say he always says the right things. We saw Dwight Howard on the record, even when I interviewed him, uh, where he alluded to if, if you know, he wished things had been a little bit better with Kobe. But the fact is, he would have stayed there if they had hired, rehired Phil Jackson as their head coach instead of bringing in Mike D'Antoni. So that's on the Lakers. And I'm, don't get me started with Jim Buss. I'm in a good mood. We got the people out here today. I'm not. I'm not going to go in on Jim Buss because I'll lose it. I'll just lose it. But I think that it's real convenient and real easy to get at Kobe. But it's also not like guys don't say things about him. He's not. In other words, here's the thing. He's not the greatest recruiter in the world. All right, that's fair to say. Kobe Bryant is not the greatest recruiter. He's one of the greatest players in the world. Always has been. But he's not the greatest recruiter in the world. And if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, you're more interested in Kobe. To, you're, you're more interested in an elite recruiter than you are a yeah. Kobe mm -hmm. at this stage of his career. Because he doesn't want a co-star. Is that fair to say? Well, he doesn't want a co-star who's interested in being the star. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, because he's still a man as long as he's there. So let's put this in perspective. Kobe Bryant is almost 37 years of age. Yeah. Turns 37 on August 23rd. This would be his 20th NBA season, even though, as you point out, over the last two seasons, he's only played the equivalent of a half of NBA season, 35 games and six games in those last two seasons. But he has played a grand total of 55,414 NBA minutes. That is a lot of wear and tear on a body that that is starting to wear down a little bit, starting to break down on Kobe, as we, we know all too well. This is my gut feeling here. At some point, the Lakers, and when I say the Lakers, I'm talking about Jim and Jeannie Buss, are going to have to tell Kobe that they love him, but it's time to go home. And because I don't think Kobe can tell himself that. I, I have nothing but respect for him. I love watching him. He is as fierce a competitor as I've ever seen, except for that one guy, that number 23 who played for the Chicago Bulls. He's as close to that guy as any human I've ever seen. He is fiercely proud of what he still can do at age 37. But Stephen A., it, I, I don't see any second career tugging at his heartstrings or at his mind. I, I don't see him wanting to be a, an analyst up here with us. 
or you know is, does he want to make movies or I, documentaries I have no idea but I don't think so I think he wants to play NBA basketball at the highest level and I'm with you I think they're trying to start to move on but if he's going to lead the league in shots taken which he probably will again this year it's hard to continue to rebuild around that so at some point even though Jeannie says it's Kobe's call I think it's going to have to be her call or her brother's call. Well, listen, the first call that Jeannie Bush should make is firing her brother. Okay, that's Let's fine. get that out the way. That's, get, fine. Get, that's the first call I'm, she should I'm make is you. firing okay. Jeannie Bush. But outside of that, you know, it's pretty hard to tell Kobe that it's time to go when you don't have anything to build on. Now, I know you look at a Julius Randle, and now you got D'Angelo Russell, and, you know, bringing in a Roy Hibbert, Louis Williams, Brandon Bass, those are good. They're going to help. And I, I, mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, as crazy as this may sound, are, are you ready for this? I think one of the best moves in terms of dealing with Kobe that the Lakers could have made was bringing in Roy Hibbert. And I'm going to tell you why. Roy Hibbert, unforgivable to be going scoreless when you're seven feet two in four playoff games. But Roy Hibbert is a good guy and one of the most honest guys you'll find. And he's not going to bite his tongue. And, and the thing about it is, is that if, if, if you are Kobe, all right, and you are taking too many shots or you are distancing yourself from the team or you, and I'm not saying that that's the case because, again, I think Kobe's gotten a bad rap to some degree but if you are under those circumstances and you're causing problems Roy Hibbert ain't the type of dude that's gonna be quiet about it I'm telling you that right now it's not gonna happen I, now I don't know I'm not saying he's gonna hold a press conference or anything like that but trust you me trust you mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. if if Kobe Bryant is acting up it ain't gonna be one of them situations where it's quiet in the locker room and nobody's saying anything Roy Hibbert's gonna say something He's going to say something. You can book well, it. Well, he said a whole lot by not saying anything when he was asked about, and, 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 did Kobe and, and call so you? Louis Sometimes Williams, that yeah. says more. And so so does Louis Williams and Brandon Bass. These are not punks. These are not guys that's going to sit back. They don't, uh, um, when it comes, I'm talking about when it comes yeah. to being a man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are not three guys that are going to look at you and defer in terms of men. And they might defer with the basketball, yep. but they're not going to defer in no. terms of manhood. You ain't going to come at them and act just any old way, and that's going to fly. Not them three brothers. I can promise you that. Especially Roy Hibbert. Yep. Lakers won 21 games last season, missed the playoffs for the second straight year. That hasn't happened since 1976. A silver lining, though, for Lakers fans, getting to see hopefully a healthy Kobe maybe for his last season. That remains to be seen on the court. Get ready, guys. I'm cheesy for this next bump. Our next guest has big expectations. Yeah, you heard me. For the Bills this season, head coach Rex Ryan will stop by the desk to talk about the 2015 Bills and if they can break their playoff curse. On the Hook is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here.